Welcome to Mathematics with M's, Grade 12 Calculus, 3D Dimensional Problems. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Let's look at the example of a cylinder. Now remember, a cylinder is a regular shape. That means it is upright. A cylinder closed at both ends is to have a volume of 200 pi centimeter cube. What should its dimensions be if its surface area is to be as small as possible? So already there, there should be a hint. If they say as small as possible, then you know you're dealing with maxima and minima. And remember now, with maxima and minima, you must find the derivative and let the derivative be zero. So let's look at the solution. So formula for surface area, of course, you will remember from grade 10, 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. You just got to know these formulas. Remember, this is a closed cylinder. So area is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Now the formula for volume is given by pi r squared h, if you remember. And since the actual volume is given as 200 pi centimeter cube, we can substitute this value into the formula and then make h the subject. Because remember to differentiate, you need only to have one variable. So I need to get rid of h, so that I can only be left with r. So there you are, 200 pi equals to pi r squared h, right? Divide both sides by pi, because you can do it, it's, it's, it's a constant. Remember, you can't divide by a variable, but you can divide by a constant. Then, of course, make h the subject, and you get h is 2000 r squared. 2000 divided by r squared. Now, we're going to substitute this value into the formula for surface area. So, there you are h is replaced by 2000 over r squared then you need to multiply into the bracket with 2 pi r then you get 400 4000 pi then you can of course take the r up becomes r to the power negative one right remember i want to differentiate so i need to do that derivatives don't like fractions then a accent means the derivative so you differentiate so, you, so remember, remember, r is the variable. So you differentiate in terms of r. So there you are, 2 times 2 pi is 4 pi r. And the same with the negative 1 times 4,000 is negative 4,000 pi r to the power negative 2. Remember, you say minus 1, minus 1. Right? Then, of course, you can take the r squared back where it was originally. So for a minimum value of r, let the derivative be 0. So there you are. And what you can do next is you can cross multiply. Then, of course, divide both sides by 4 pi. Divide both sides by 4 pi. Then take the 1,000 over to the left-hand side. And then find the cube root of 1,000, which is 10 centimeters. So now we can calculate the value of h. So, because we have r. So, the corresponding value to this value r. So, h is 2000 over r squared. So, therefore, 2000 over 10 squared, which is 20 centimeters. Then you take this 20 centimeters and the 10 and substitute back into the formula for surface area. And you get, therefore, the minimum area is 600 pi centimeter squared. I would recommend that you must look at the following examples. Please work through them. Make sure you can do them. And then, of course, later on, I will supply you with the solutions. Right, here are the solutions to the exercise. Please work through them. Mark your work and make sure you understood the work. All right, all the best. This is Ahmed Suleiman signing off with uh, Mathematics with M's. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and you find it useful. Please don't forget, forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe.